Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating our own version of the galvanized metal style frame that is sold by the Dollar Tree. These have been so hard to find in the stores and they're only available in a 2 by 3 inch size. With my tutorial today, you will be able to make this in any size you like. Please see the list of supplies and tools used to make this in the description box below. I am so happy to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and my new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into that project. Here are the frames at the Dollar Tree that they sell that we will be replicating. These have that faux galvanized and wood frame. So for this project, I will be making an 8x10 version of this frame. You want to make sure you choose the shadow box style frames from Dollar Tree for this project. Go ahead and remove all the plastic and then we want to go ahead and flip it over and remove everything from the frame. Now you just take everything and set it to the side. So we're going to take our frame and what we want to do is we want to lightly sand it because we're going to be painting it. And once we sand it, just go ahead and clean it off with a bit of alcohol. And now it's time to paint. Go ahead and protect your surface and gather up your paint supplies. Now for a base coat, we'll be using this brown mustard color acrylic paint. What you wanna do is apply two coats to the frame and let it dry. And now that that's dry, we're going to take our chip brush and we're going to mix a nice brown color to get that wood grain accent. We'll be using a brown and just a dab of black and we'll create our own dark chocolate color. And what we want to do is use a dry brushing technique and lightly wisp that brush along the frame. We want to create aging and distressing. Then once that dried, I wanted to add a tad bit of this sand colored acrylic paint just to show some variation. And once that's dry, we wanna go ahead and seal our frame with some Mod Podge. I'm going to apply one coat in the matte finish. And now just let that dry. So while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an extra frame I had to measure out on the poster board we will use for our galvanized finish. We wanna lay the frame along the short side of the poster board and mark the measurement a tad bigger than the 10 inch frame. And then we wanna cut that piece off. So now what we're going to do is we want to add embossing lines to our poster board. So I'm going to lay down the poster board and I am going to make little tick marks every half inch down the top and the bottom of that poster board. And then I'm going to take an embossing tool, which is also available at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to emboss lines, making sure that I'm matching up those marks that we just made. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to take this outside to paint. Now, I will be using this Brilliant Aluminum Spray Paint by Krylon. Now what you want to do is to spray small sections at a time and then while the paint is still wet, dab it with a paper towel in a random pattern. This will create a textured look similar to galvanized metal. You want to repeat this for the entire board. And here is our <clears throat> metal all dry. And here you can see our embossed lines that we made earlier. So now we're gonna take our frame insert and we're gonna measure and mark the exact height we need it to fit the frame. Then we'll just cut off the excess. So we want the width of that faux metal to be a few inches or so wider than the frame. And for this eight by 10 frame, all I did was to cut this sheet in half. That allowed the overlap that I needed and enough to have the galvanized metal effect. Once cut, all we do is fan fold it on the embossed lines we made. And here it is, all folded. Now what we want to do is apply that faux metal to the frame insert by simply wrapping that last fold around each side of that insert and taping it in place. And now we can reassemble our frame. We want to first add that glass back in very carefully. On top of that, we'll add our foam corrugated metal. And we won't need the foamy insert piece. We could just toss that. And then finally, the back of the frame. And we'll go ahead and secure that in place. Wow, that is a perfect fit. So the final piece to finish this frame is to add our clip up top. So I picked up this four pack from the Dollar Tree and we will use one of these. Now I'm going to apply mine to the top center of the frame, but you could also apply this to the glass to look more like the Dollar Tree version if you like. Now to apply it, I'll just simply be using some E6000 and then I'm gonna put, just put just a dab of hot glue on there for an instant grab. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press and hold that into place while the glue bonds. And here is the completed project, you guys, this frame. Oh my gosh, it turned out amazing. I just love galvanized metal in my home decor and this piece perfectly blends in. Converting that silver frame into this worn and rustic look really gives me those barn and farmhouse type vibes and those variations in color make it look so true and natural.
Now you can add that clip to the top, you can add it on the glass, or even turn the frame sideways for a cinema style frame. Either way you do it, that faux galvanized metal will be the star of the show. Take your finished piece and now you can add it to your space and decorate it with your embellishments and you have a piece made just for you. This would make an awesome gift as well and you can make it in any size, size that you like. Listen, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure you're following me on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscription button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.